Okay, just uh, for my benefit, because I know I'm going to forget uh, between now and when uh, the other stuff comes. Um, I did take the... Uh, geez, Louise, I did take the fly, or the, uh, what's it called? Um, this actually came off really easy. Um, you do have to be very careful. And you can see that that's right out of the box. Uh, you have to be very careful uh, when you do this, but basically what you're going to do, and I'm sure you can find this somewhere else. Um, so you were, and there's a, there's a key, so we're going to zip tie that later to make sure we don't lose it. But the way it works is this sits on here like this, okay? And you have to loosen up your uh, ignition coil bolts to move it back. But uh, what you're going to do is you're going to put a, a, a pry bar under the lip here um, very carefully because you do not want to crack this. Um, and while that's under there, you're going to lay, obviously you're going to lay this thing on the side. Uh, as you're just going to you're going to put your shaft nut on to protect your threads. And you're just going to give it a sharp pop, just one pop, uh, right about there. Now I have uh, separators and I have pullers, but you see there's nothing tapped there, so there's nothing for it to grab. Uh, I don't think this was really meant to come apart um, by the average person, uh, but ordinarily you you know you could probably get away with drilling and tapping, and then putting a uh, steering wheel puller in there. Um, I have a gear puller somewhere, um, but the uh, the arms are not uh, long enough to get a spread. So I, what I could do later, I guess, for my own benefit, is to maybe fabricate some uh, longer arms for for wider pieces like this. But either way, we're going to put this uh, to the side, and there's a big old honk and magnet uh, to pick up an ignition coil to pick up. So we're going to put that over here, amongst all this mess. Uh, and we will, like I said, we will tie this. Now one of the things that we're going to have to do, if we want to put the starter on, I'm just going to throw this guy back on, just protect those threads a little. Uh, we're going to have to remove this plate here. Now I've already gone and uh, loosened it up a little bit. It's kind of difficult to do this with one hand, but what the hey. And these are, I mean, this thing is new and these bolts are pretty tight. In some instances, it takes a little more than a quarter inch to uh, to break them. So uh, on the back side, we've got this, which goes to our uh, spark plug, or it goes to our ignition coil. And you'll see it right there. So we're going to take that off very gingerly. gonna stick it back for now. Oh, sorry. Okay, so that's protected. Right. Nope, wrong hole, she said. I'm eventually gonna throw all the uh, screws back or all the bolts, sorry, all the bolts back just to protect those uh, threads and to keep from, you know, getting anything in there, moving it around. Um, so, we, there's our oil level pickup, so we're going to take that off. Now that seems to be just popped on there, so let me take that off real quick. Do, 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 do. 
Now, I've seen, I guess we'll just throw this back in here, this bracket, um, and we'll probably fashion some way of keeping all this together up here once the starter's on and everything. Um,